20% of women suffer from adult acne. And while you may think it's a thing of the past, some have it worse than when they were in their teens. And today I've got the surprising reasons for adult acne that are easily fixable. Renee is here. She thought her acne problems were behind her. Yes. But it's not happening. It is not happening. It's like I have turned into a teenager again. Well, some yeah. good things about that, I guess, but not the uh, acne. <laughs> I thought I was done with it, but I'm not. All right. So when do you normally work out? You work out in the face usually, all over? It's kind of depends. I mean, along my hairline here. Sometimes it'll be around my nose, on my chin, sometimes between my eyes. And it's unpredictable um, when it's it happens? It's unpredictable. There's no right. rhyme or reason. Let's start off so we're all on the same page about what a pimple really is. Okay. So I get a little, just a little animation on this. And if you look at this, you'll see that if you look at the skin of the face, just beneath it, under the hair, you've got these little follicles where the hair is made. And these little oil glands here, they'll push in there. But if it's blocked off here, bacteria get in there. They love that. That bacteria makes it grow larger. It swells. It causes pain. And finally, on the surface, look familiar? Yes. You've been there? Uh, yeah, a lot. All right. So when that happens to you, what do you normally do? Um, well, I hate to tell you this, but I actually pop it. I know it's you the wrong thing to do. I, I do. I pop it. I can't handle it. It you just... It's there. You know everybody's looking at it. Well, a little tip next time. Clean it up, get a needle, clean the needle, and just go like this, and just sort of lance it like that. Okay. Don't dig into your face like, like this. Like, lance okay. it, and just let the pus drain out. You just saw how the pus is deep down. Oh, yes. When you go like this, you macerate the skin, you beat it all up, so it yes. gets worse. Yes. And you probably can't predict what causes the breakouts. No, yeah. I can't. You'd like most people. But I have a couple tips for things that often are responsible that most of you have never heard of before. Okay. A surprising first reason for adult acne is your pillow. Oh. We're going over here. Okay. Think about this. Look at this beautiful pillowcase. Looks so clean, doesn't it? Yes. You sleep on your pillow for seven, eight hours a night, I hope. Yeah, huh? Right? Is that true yes. or not? Uh, I try. I try. All yeah. right. How many hours it is is still a fair amount. <laughs> and there's dirt, there's oil, there's bacteria from your face, your hands, your hair has stuff in it, from the environment, the house. It all gets onto this beautiful pillowcase. And then that dirt is transferred back into your face, clogging up the pore like I just showed you in the animation. So how often do you wash your pillowcase? Um, maybe every other week. Every other week? Yes. Can we yes. do better than that, you think? Uh, most definitely. All right. So general recommendations are once a week for pillowcases. OK. But here's the double surprise. The pillowcase is only part of the problem. Pull that pillowcase off there, if you don't mind. The other big problem is the actual pillow oh. itself. You see this? Yes. Real pillow, folks. The pillow inside the case is also breeding ground for dead stuff. This, this is pretty thin. Yes. Pillowcase. Stuff goes through there. You sweat on a pillowcase, you're sweating on the pillow itself. Yes. And all this junk breeds bacteria and other kinds of uh, contaminants. So you actually have to wash your pillows themselves. Okay. Same every other week? No, or? no. They, you, you don't do that. So we called around. Experts yeah. recommend you wash the pillowcase once a week, okay. but the pillows themselves every six months. Oh, okay. And you know, okay. it's simple to do, just wash them out and yep. it will help you a lot. Yes. I want everyone in America, because most of you have not washed your pillows in a no. long, long time. No. If it's been at least six months, which for everybody it pretty much has, you wash your pillows tonight. You'll be a happy camper tomorrow. Tonight, okay, right. I will do the that. The next surprising reason that you have adult acne <laughs> is also caused by while you sleep. Do you ever put moisturizer on your hands? I do, and my hands and my arms. You have very soft skin. Lotion. You know, the lotion, right? Here, let me give you a little extra. I love hand cream. Right. Yes. Go ahead, put some on, rub it in there good. Now, when you go to sleep at night, you ever put your hand near your face? Uh, yes. You do. Show me how you like sleep like this. You like a little, I, like a little well, fairy? Yes. And I know it's not good, because then I wake up with fingerprints, but it's just, <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, uh, the, the, there are a couple things about, about your hands under your face, but one of the problems is if you put hand cream on your hands, uh, and then you rest it on your cheek, you're actually putting something on your face that's supposed to be on your hands. Yes. It's not called hand, if you know, face cream, it's called hand cream okay. for a reason. They put different kinds of things in there, so your solution is to find a moisturizer that's called non-comedogenic. Comedogenic means causing pimples, uh, so a non-pimple cream. Okay. Anything that promotes acne has to be avoided. I'm gonna give you a list right now okay. of five things that are commonly found in products. They are good for your hands, they're not good for your face. So coconut oil, don't want it on your face. Allergy extract, great for hands, not face. Sodium chloride, that's salt, folks. You don't want salt rubbing on your face. Laurel sulfate and isocetyl stearates. These are chemical names. I, you know, they're on drhours.com. You don't want them in your moisturizer okay. that you use late at night on your hands. Okay. Next surprising okay. reason you get adult acne has to do with medications. Okay. And some of them are not ones you'd expect. So this, and it's a side effect. People don't want to give you acne with their medications. If you have a sudden eruption that looks like this picture, there's an image of somebody. See that? Like, and it, it came on pretty quickly. Oh. Two things to look for. 
You look for a multivitamin that has iodine in it. I take a multivitamin every day. You do. I want you to take the multivitamin. Okay. But if you have iodine in it, that can actually create those kinds of reactions. Okay. And you can get iodine from having table salt that has iodine in it. Okay. So you don't have to get it from a vitamin. Okay. So if you do happen to have that acne, just try getting a multivitamin without iodine being added to it. Okay. And if your doctors put you on medications, frankly, many can cause it, but the most common ones are anabolic steroids. Yes. That we use for many reasons. Yeah. That will really hurt you. Okay. So you'd be thoughtful about that. All right. Thank you for being here. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.